Hi everyone, this one is GeoGebra tutorial and today I'm gonna show you how to construct a skyped square with an triangle. This one is the graphic view of the GeoGebra window and this one is the algebra view. I'm gonna make this view a bit in the middle so we can see this easily. Okay, in this tutorial we are going to create a scribe square. So for this we need to take a sliders for two angles uh, alpha from interval 0 to 89 degree and similarly another slider for an angle beta from 0 degree to 89 degree with an increment 5 degree ok now keep this sliders the edge of this GeoGebra our next job is to form, create the point of intersection between x axis and y axis so this one is the point A and next job is to create the point on x axis let's take this point B and also the line through A and B okay so this is the line a through points a and b so let's take another point in between the segments a b of line a b so let's take a point c here and create a point p on this first quadrant of this quadrant system which makes the angle alpha with x axis so Give the command for the point P is equal to cos alpha comma sine alpha. Okay, hit enter. So this one is the point P and go to the line tool and create a line through A and B. So this one is line B. We can see here line B. And similarly, create another point Q in the first quadrant. Q is equal to, we can give, give the command X ordinate of point B minus cos beta comma sine beta. And hit enter. This one is the point Q. Again, draw the line through Q and B. So let us intersect this line C and this line B. So click on line B and click on line C. So this one is the intersection point D of line B and C. Keep it in here. Now let's draw a polygon to D A B again and hide the labels of this polygon A D B. So go to the mob tool and segments, click on show label. Again, draw a line perpendicular to A B through the point C. Perpendicular go to perpendicular line to click on point C and click on this line. So this line E is the line perpendicular to AB through the point C and similarly intersect the line this line B and E so click on line E and click on line B so this E is the intersection point so it's point P I'm gonna keep it here okay Let's change this I think this can be changed here so we can visualize this easily or maybe say we can manipulate the angle alpha yeah this way and similarly we can manipulate angle beta and the angles of this polygon let's take angle of this polygon B A D and D B A so let's see here this angle delta 
sorry angle gamma is determined by angle alpha that is same as the alpha angle gamma is same as angle alpha and the angle made by this line b with the x-axis is determined by angle alpha and similarly we can see that angle alpha is equal to angle gamma and similarly the angle made by the line c with the x-axis is determined by beta and we can see that angle beta is same as angle delta yes angle beta is same as angle delta you can see here we have to move to this now our next work is to create a polygon go to input bar and plot polygon and first two vertices of polygon are e comma c comma four of four vertices we need here okay so this one is the polygon yes polygon 2 e c f g and let us create a line through a and g okay and this line j is intersected with the line c so let's find the intersection point of line j and c okay this one is point x you can see this let us keep this point g here and let us draw a line perpendicular to the line ab through x so click on point x and click on this line so this one is the line perpendicular to ab through x so intersect again this x and sorry line k and this line a or ab so click on here so we have got another coordinate i another point i uh, in the x-axis so now next job is to create a polygon so go to poly input bar and input polygon polygon to i comma j sorry i comma j sorry we need x x comma 4 okay that is what we actually need you can see here so this square you can see that you can see here this square h i j k is our required square so let us remove the unwanted things from here we don't need this line this line this line this line this line and this line similarly we don't need polygon 2 so remove this polygon 2 from here and also we're not we're, we're, we're need the point p q similarly uh e we don't need e and similarly we need we don't need point g so click on here so auxiliary objects and here we can see that point g and we don't need point e off and we don't need point c too okay and you can see here this one is triangle and h i j k is our record square within a triangle you can move this also you can see okay let's match the color of the angle alpha and angle gamma angle alpha Click on this angle alpha, angle gamma, next thing object property color. Let's make this color blue style. Okay, happen and similarly, same make same color of angle beta and angle delta because these two are the same angles. Go to color tool and let's make this okay now let's color the polygon tree make this polygon tree of color red and opticity you can increase style line thickness make a bit all okay this happen and let's change the 
polygon 1 so next polygon 1 if you hover over this this is highlighted here okay this one is so you can make the color of the polygon 1 get a color tool and make this and make this opticity of this color so you can move the point B and sense over here this is square man set so this is the sky square within the triangle okay well along the x-axis similar to chance and then see and remove the slider to manipulate the sliders this remains the same okay thanks for watching this